like how uh, a language is going to work at the end, right? So you, 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 everybody might be able to create a variables and you know write some commands, but you should know how it, it works, how it actually works, right? So Python is an interpreted high level general purpose programming language. So interpreted means what? Uh, 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 yeah, before going for interpreted, let us talk about high level, right? So Python is a high level programming language. What do you mean by high level? So whatever programming languages which we are seeing nowadays are all high level programming language, right? So why it is called high level? If a program can be read by a human, then that is uh, not treated as you know high level programming. Language. A developer who writes uh, instructions, right, so in, in 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 a language called English, right. So when we write those instructions, uh, uh, this kind of programming languages are called high level programming languages. You take C, C++, Java, Python, Scala, any any of the programming language which you are seeing are high level programming language because we understand as a humans we uh, you know we write that uh, you know instructions and uh, there are uh, other other type of programming languages as well right what are those so usually there are three different types of programming languages this high so yeah, high level programming languages are languages which we are learning right Python is also one of them. Python is also one of them. Other languages are like Java, Scala, right? Uh, C++ or C, it is, right? What are the low level programming languages? Assembly, assembly level programming. Some of you might have uh, heard about assembly level programming uh, language, right? So in our engineering, if you have done electronics or electrical engineering, you might have uh, you know, uh, written code in uh, assembly level programming language, right? And then a low level, a machine level programming language is, uh, is like always will be in uh, zeros and ones, right? Which is understood by a machine directly. So these are the languages which we write uh, human uh, understandable. And assembly level languages are languages uh, which are like close to machine level, right? Which are very friendly with uh, uh, you know machine level. Maybe for us, uh, you know, we, we can't understand. Maybe even if we can understand, you cannot use this uh, type of languages. To write a very big applications like web applications or uh, you know, very complex program, right? So uh, in, if you have done your engineering, uh, you know, in, in your engineering, if you are happens to be electrical and electronics, you would have uh, you know done this in your uh, you know syllabus, right? So when when we uh, when we work with, when we understand microprocessor 8086 or 8085, right? So uh, this microprocessor usually is you know taught in the academics. Right. So when you are working with this microprocessor, you use something called assembly level programming language, like add, uh, you know, uh, 10 comma 20, move, or, you know, 10 to 200, right, and then jump, right, 2000. So this is address. This is the number. This is address, and this is the number, and this is the number, right. So can you imagine writing, uh, you know, this kind of instruction to develop a web application? So it is very difficult, right? So, so this this are the this is the language which is close to machine level. Machine level machine only can understand ones and zeros at the end of the day. Whatever software you take, end of the day that software is converting all our instructions into ones and zeros. So this is machine level. So Python is a high level programming language, right? So now when high level programming language code, if you are writing and making, why do you write programs, guys? Right, we as a uh, you know, developer uh, will start writing programs, right? And uh, maybe we, we, we call this as a Python. I mean, maybe for example, if you write a Python program, you, you say it as a uh, you know maybe a b c dot p y. So p y is the extension which you will use to show, show the Python program. Similarly, uh, Java programs will be uh, you know saved as a dot Java extension. C programs will be dot C. Right, so this is the code which you are writing. What we will do, we will uh, uh, use high level programming language to write instructions. So, whatever instructions which you are going to put here, end of the day, mission has to execute, right? So, the we uh, the end of the day, our motivation is to execute our instructions on the mission, right? Mission means CPU, right? CPU, right? So, in your computer, in your server, or in your laptop. CPU is the part which does all the work, right? So remaining all are helping material further. Now, if you write 
programs in English, like for example, if you are declaring a variable a equal to 10, b equal to 20, and if you are doing a plus b, right? So how does this will be translated to machine level? I mean, how does machine understand? You machine cannot understand. We can understand this because it is high level. Now, in order to uh, uh, um, uh, you know, in order to in order to machine understand these instructions, so usually programming languages put inter intermediate layer called uh, you know low level, low level, right? So usually compiler will be used here to convert our high level language into low level language, and then uh, uh, here interpreter will be used, right? Interpreter. So we will use a uh, uh, you know, compiler to convert your high level programs into low level programs and low level programs will be converted into machine level code, right? So end of the day, instruction should be you know, executed by machine. So why is there a phase of low level? If you are writing a high level, why not we execute uh, you know, uh, that uh, you know, high level language into directly on machine? Why, not, why can't we convert the high level code into directly machine level? Yes. We can do that. There are certain programming languages which does that particular stuff as well, right? So there are some languages which uh, which converts high level into low level directly, right? So there are some programming languages which converts high level into low level, and then low level code will be used to execute, right? When you use high level language, when you are converting high level instructions into directly machine level, it takes time. So your speed will be less. The speed of execution will be less, right? So that is the reason some of the famous programming languages, like uh, the most popular language, uh, you know, alongside Python is Java, right? So what does it do? Uh, it, it, it also, you know, a high-level programming language, we write instructions, and maybe that is saved as bad Java, right? And they compile it and create something called byte code, intermediate code, right? So interme intermediate form. So your instructions are converted from high-level form to intermediate form. And this intermediate form of instructions will be fed to your machine uh, by something called interpreter. So they call this uh, as a JVM in their world, right? It's so Java virtual machine. They call this as a virtual machine, right? So let's not worry about what is JVM and other stuff because we are not uh, worried about, uh, uh, no, no, we are not learning Java, right? So when it comes to Python, so Python is also the, you know, does the same thing. Most of the time uh, it is, uh, it follows the same cycle. Everybody has to follow the same cycle, right? So here, why Python is called interpreted language, not compiled programming language is that, so Python has option, Python has different uh, implementations. So some of the uh, Python uh, software will directly convert it to machine level. Some has the option to convert it to low level and then execute it on the machine. Right, so the Python code whichever you are going to write is going to be when you execute, it is going to get directly executed on machine, right? Or it has an option to compile and generate a byte code and execute this byte code on virtual machine, so on the machine. So we call that as an interpreter. So in interpreter sometimes is also called Python virtual machine, PVM, like JVM. We have PVM. So PVM is uh, considered as uh, interpreter, right? So if you if someone mentions PVM, but you can understand it as an interpreter. So Python is called interpreted programming language. Why? By default, as a developer, you don't need to compile. You don't need to convert it to low-level programming language. Whereas in Java, you have to do it. There is no other option, right? So in case of some uh, Java or maybe C uh, programming languages, you have to first compile and then execute. Whereas if you write code in SQL, right, you don't compile, you just directly execute, right? So similarly in Python, <clears throat> whenever you write to, to, you know, code, directly it gets executed. Right? Directly, uh, Python will uh, implicitly, I mean, internally it will convert into bytecode and then uh, pass it to uh, interpreter and the interpreter will execute it on the CP, right? Or if you want, for some reason, if you want to compile and generate intermediate code called byte code, you can also do that. But by default, Python does not do. You have to give extra options. You have to specify extra option when you are executing your code using Python interpreter. When you do that, it will be converted into uh, uh, you know, byte code, and you can use byte code to execute on uh, interpreter.
right so why i am saying all this is this is a life cycle which any pro any pro programming language has to follow you know many languages uh, which will have either compiler based or interpreter based if it is interpreted that means your instruction is directly going to machine right there is no co uh, compile phase compile phase is automatic right but if you want you know in at least in python you can generate a byte code by, by default you don't need what 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 you what you are what you are going to write and say it as a dot py uh, you can directly execute right but whereas uh, some languages like java scala or maybe uh, you know any uh, compiler based language first uh, developer has to do two steps first he has to write a program and compile it and then once uh, he compiles the program the, uh, 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 he will generate some byte code and that byte code will get executed by the virtual machine right so virtual machine is a piece of software piece of program again which will take instruction which will read instructions and convert into machine level so this this is the you know a life cycle of any programming language guys so here I, i was explaining this to make you understand why python is called high level interpret programming language because python has a capability to directly convert your command which you are writing in english right into directly mission understandable form so that is why it is called interpreted programming so also general purpose right so like i said python is can be used for any purpose so if you wanted to write a simple you uh, know script which will uh, you know uh, 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 you know automate your daily routines right you can use python if you wanted to replace your shell scripts uh, you know because shell script has less functionality right if you wanted to automate your shell script with more functionality then you can use you know python for uh, as a shell script or python can be used to develop web applications python can be used to develop gaming application or i mean the one which we are interested now here is to, uh, to use python as a data manipulating language right so we, we as a data scientist as a data analyst we are going to use python to manipulate the data so because of wide usage of this programming language we call it general purpose programming language also guys <clears throat> if you talk about uh, different ways of writing programs right so uh, programming languages are classified into uh, um, object oriented programming language or functional programming language procedural programming language right so python supports all of the features right so you whenever you talk about python python is going to only create objects and it will have uh, underneath classes right so python is uh, purely based on the objects right also you can uh, uh, use python as a functional programming language right also you can use python as a procedural programming language right so all, all these things you can achieve in a single programming language right that is how uh, you know comfortable it it makes you right so by looking at this fancy words or new words you, we don't need to confuse right so it, uh, there are very very less uh, things to learn in python right so with the help of uh, only 32 keywords you can learn python right whereas if you take about uh, java or maybe c++ there are 50 plus 60 plus keywords so the more you have to remember the more uh, rules and protocols you have to follow the more complex that programming language will be whereas python is easy because you don't need to remember too many things you just need to write your instructions that's